This is ABC 15 Arizona on CW61. Rising costs for auto insurers mean rising prices for drivers. I'm investigator Joe Ducey, showing you how shopping around can save you hundreds of dollars. Another blast of winter rolling into our state. I'm tracking chances for rain in the valley and more snow in the high country. It is a weather action day today. All right, the countdown is on until Super Bowl 57. 13 days until the Kansas City Chiefs take on the Philadelphia Eagles here at State Farm Stadium in Glendale. If you want to get out here, get through the door to watch that matchup in person. It's going to cost you, and it's going to cost the fans from out of town to get here, too. We're breaking down the cost coming up. Yeah, you better have some deep pockets around here for those tickets. Hey, good Monday morning to you. Thanks for being with us. I'm Allison Rodriguez. And I'm Justin Pizarra. So new this morning, we are hearing from fans after the Eagles and the Chiefs won over the weekend. E-H-O, yes. What? <laughs> We're going to the Super Bowl again, baby. You all hate us. Guess what? We don't care. <laughs> That's what's up. I've never been more happy in my entire life. I mean, I never thought we would win twice. I never thought we were going to the Super Bowl twice. That was unbelievable. It was just, it was, it was incredible. We're going to the ship. Hey. We're going to the ship. Hey. We're going to the ship. Hey. As Travis Kelsey said, Cincinnati, know your role and shut your mouth. Chiefs are going to the Super Bowl. Let's go. We are very excited. Uh, we're planning I mean, a trip down there right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. We're taking a road trip, I think. Yeah, we're going on a road trip, for oh sure. My. The trash talking <laughs> has already begun. That's pretty good right there. What I love is that they're not going to need all bundled up like how they were. They're going to be so happy to come here and take in the sunshine. Oh, aren't they? Yeah, for sure. It's yeah, leave all good. that at home. Yeah, it's going to be really good. <laughs> hey, let's get a check on your drive right now. Looks like we got a situation going oh, on, Megan. Yeah, we do, and it's actually near State Farm Stadium. So it's in the West Valley. It's right near the Loop 101, the northbound direction for folks, maybe as they're making their way from that I-10 transition to that northbound direction near about Indian School Road. That's where we've got this one. The left lane is blocked off right now and it does appear we've got an ADOT official trying to direct traffic telling them to go around that scene and actually move over to the right. He's getting pretty angry as he's walking over there trying to get people to know what's going on. I mean it's hard to direct traffic out there on a freeway where we've got traffic at a standstill. So they're trying their best to make sure people can get through and also they're also trying to get those folks who were involved in this crash out of the roadway so we could reopen all of those lanes. So it looks really chaotic here in this area. Again it's a loop 101 the northbound direction near about Indian School Road it does appear as we're watching live that we're going to see this ADOT official physically be pushing this vehicle out of those lanes. And here it goes. So hopefully then we'll see all of this traffic be able to start moving again. Right now it's at a standstill here at this point of the morning. And some of that build up there is back towards about the I-10 with that northbound direction of that crash. Now just south of I-10, similar area here in the West Valley, Van Buren. The road is blocked between Estrella Parkway and Bullard Avenue. Keep that in mind. And as we switch over to the Loop 101 Pima and the Scottsdale, area. We've got a crash near McDonald Drive in that northbound direction off to the right. Still dropping speeds to about 20 miles per hour. I'll check your desert drive time here, plus get you a check on your speeds on the I-10 if you're coming from the West Valley. Still ahead, Allison. All right, Megan, sounds good. We'll see you then. In the meantime, let's give you a live look outside at uh, desert Doppler clouds and radar here for you. And most of the state is pretty quiet, but we are seeing some activity, some rain that's turning into snow as we head into the higher elevated areas. So mainly impacting just outside of the valley here as you head on along the 17. And so I think most of this is going to continue to head up north. The rest of the valley is pretty quiet right now. So we are in weather action mode today as well as tomorrow. Tomorrow, expecting scattered chances for some rain today, mainly tonight and into tomorrow as well. And then you can see as we look to the high country, snow levels dropping to about 5,000 feet. And so likely to see some activity there today and tomorrow as well, lasting all the way to basically Wednesday morning. Right now we're sitting at 47 degrees at Phoenix Sky Harbor. Winds coming from the east. We could see more breezes as we go in through the day today. I'll leave you with this look of our valley temperatures and rain chances. You'll so notice here that those rain chances continue to go up as we go into the afternoon and evening with a high of only 60 degrees today.
We're running dry each passing day. The community of Rio Verde Foothills is still working on a solution to find a water source after it was cut off from Scottsdale at the beginning of the year. State lawmakers met Sunday for nearly two hours to discuss this water crisis. Nearly 200 people also showed up for that town hall. A proposal for a long-term solution would see utility company EPCOR drill a new well and then build a treatment plant and water storage facility for Rio Verde foothills. If that project is approved by the Arizona Corporation Commission, it is still going to take at least two years to be ready. In the meantime, State Senator John Kavanaugh says he's seen progress with Scottsdale officials. Well, I'm optimistic because of the conversations I've had in the last week, especially with three council members who would like to see this resolved to help these people, uh, I'm, I'm optimistic that Scottsdale will uh, provide the water until EPCOR can, as long as the protections which Scottsdale has demanded and which I've put into the bill uh, will, are, are met. In a statement, the city of Scottsdale said that they did not attend that meeting because of an ongoing lawsuit, but said it is willing to discuss potential short and long-term solutions. Well, if you haven't gotten a notice yet that your auto insurance rate is going up, you can almost certainly expect one is coming. All new this Money Monday, the Let Joe Know team compares rates and has tips to potentially lower those costs. Inflation, it's impacting just about everything, including car insurance. According to a recent report by Insurify, the national average cost rose 9% in 2022. And it's projected to rise another 7% this year. But inflation isn't the only thing impacting prices. Drivers are getting into more traffic accidents, and those accidents are getting more expensive to remediate. Chase Gardner, a data analyst with Insurify, says the cost of repair parts, labor shortages, and supply chain disruptions are making claims more expensive for insurance companies to pay out. Even if you got into the same accident as you did two years ago, it costs 15% more to repair now. To offset those claims, companies are raising rates. Despite that, we found that shopping around can save you hundreds of dollars. We compared two big insurers, State Farm and Progressive, using as close to the same coverage as we could find. First, we compared full coverage for a Ford F-150. State Farm's online quote was $1,640 for six months. Progressive quoted $1,080 for six months. When we compared minimal coverage options, State Farm was about $250 more. We also looked at cars. Comparing a Honda Civic for full coverage, State Farm quoted $1,483, $600 higher than Progressive's quote. Comparing minimal coverage for a Honda Civic, State Farm's quote was again higher than Progressive, $563 compared to $311. A lot of factors determine insurance rates. We only looked at prices, not service. Check online for those reviews. But it does pay to shop around at least once a year. Also consider raising your deductible to lower your premium. And don't miss discounts for car safety features and bundling other types of insurance. We put more ways to save online at abc15.com slash letjoeknow. And if you're a problem solver, apply to be a Let Joe Know volunteer. The form is right on our website. I'm Investigator Joe Ducey. If you got a problem, let me know. Two weeks. From right now, we will have a Super Bowl champion. The Kansas City Chiefs will take on the Philadelphia Eagles at State Farm Stadium for Super Bowl 57. Yes, it is already going to be here, right? So our Amelia Fabiano reporting in Glendale now. And Amelia, the price tag to watch this game, whoo, it is not going to be cheap. Let's start with getting it in the door here at State Farm Stadium on Super Bowl Sunday. It is possible. It's not going to be cheap, but there are tickets left over. So here's what I was looking at this morning. The lowest tickets on SeatGeek, sitting at about $5,100 plus this morning. A little cheaper if you go through Vivid Seats, $4,800. And then StubHub, also about $5,100. If you want to upgrade, go big or go home. The most expensive tickets we saw this morning, $39,000 for a seat, for one of the best seats in the house here in Glendale. If you're a fan coming from out of town, you're going to have to fly here. Southwest Airlines tickets from Kansas City that Friday to Monday are starting at about $700 one way. And that's if you can grab one fast enough because we noticed most seats are sold out right now. Tickets from Philly starting at $375 one way. Of course, depending on when you'd want to get into town, if you're okay with a layover, that return trip to even more expensive. 
And then once you're here, you're going to need a place to stay. There are hotels and houses available in Glendale, but the cheapest is more than $2,300 a night on Booking.com and more than $1,000 a night on TripAdvisor. It is cheaper if you go outside Glendale, too. FanDuel has the Chiefs by plus 1.5 for spread this morning as far as betting on who's going to win the big game. DraftKings, BetMGM, and Caesars all have the Chiefs by plus two. The Chiefs now heading to their third Super Bowl in four years, and the Eagles advancing to their second in five. We think we've built up enough, uh, enough respect to, to have a chance to go out and win every game. How does it feel to be going to your first Super Bowl? It feels damn good. Damn good. Uh, I'm thankful. I'm grateful, man. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun right now, man. Uh, this team been amazing, man. Coach has been amazing. Uh, these fans have been amazing. And back here at home, one of the most visible signs of the NFL coming into the Valley is going to be the transformation of the Phoenix Convention Center. That's where the big Super Bowl experience is going to be happening. And we're getting a preview of what it's shaping up to look like later on today. So make sure you tune into ABC 15 Arizona later this afternoon at 4 so you can get that sneak preview too as the NFL loads in. Reporting from Glendale, Amelia Fabiano, ABC 15 Arizona. I'm Joe St. George in Des Moines, Iowa. Gridlock may be happening at the United States Capitol, but in many state capitals around the country, one party rule is existing. We tell you why that matters and why a whole lot of state laws in our country may soon be changing. Next. When the big story breaks, we've got you covered. Thanks for making ABC 15 Arizona your choice for local news. For more news and entertainment, follow CW61 Arizona 